help you where you had other things to do in town. You didn't fly yeah. in just for me. But I, I would fly in just for thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I only say, don't keep a billionaire waiting. <laughs> but what, so what else are you doing in town? Um, I've just got some meetings for Cost Plus Drugs. Just out there just talking it up. and just For what? To, oh, the CostPlusDrugs.com company I'm doing. Oh, I know you're big on that. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm always going after the pharmaceutical industry. I don't know if we're going after them for the same things. I'm certainly on your page for that too. Mm -hmm. But I am always on the tip of, it's a bigger problem, which is that America uses too many pharmaceuticals, yeah. turns to that solution, don't get me started on COVID or do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Either way. Um, I don't know where you are on that. Obviously, people needed, lots of people were saved by the vaccine and needed the vaccine. Right. Um, all, and some people didn't need it and uh, don't want to be told what to do. And every medical intervention is a very personal choice about your personal health. So, you know, I don't know if that's all in your thing. I know you just want to get the cost down, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, the fact that people have to make a choice between rent, food, and medication right. is just wrong. Well, I would always pick medication. <laughs> no. You know, sometimes it's what works. What do you drink? Just beer. I'm That's all you beer. drink? Pretty much now, yeah. yeah. I mean, Why? I hate beer. See, I, I'm just like a, a sip and enjoy. <laughs> well, and Some people. See, my problem is I have two speeds, on and off. And so if I go, I go. Or then you crash? No, I, I just go too hard. I'll just do stupid shit, you know? So, oh, you're talking about doing drinking? Yeah, just drinking, right? I mean, it's not like, I'm not just a, let's do one shot, you know? Let's have one You were that way all your life? Pretty much, yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't picture you that way. Oh, yeah, like, up hard. until how recently? Up until probably my kids got to be teenagers, and it was more about the example. How long ago yeah. was that? Um, my kids are 13, 16, and 19, so it's, it's still going. <laughs> I mean, you are still capable of... Oh, yeah, I could go hard. Yeah, I mean, I own a basketball team. I, Those guys go hard, and so... I, I know, up. but they're so much younger than you. That's so, why they can. So? You party with them? I have. I mean, not as often as I used to. I mean... Really? Yeah, I mean, I used to take pride in being able to keep up. Isn't that hard to get close like that, and then you might have to trade them, or you don't care? No, I mean, because it's a business. It's like you transfer somebody mm. to another office. You know, they're still going to get paid. It's not. That is such an interesting way to put it. Yeah. You're transferring someone to another. Oh, you there's are. Only, yeah. There's only 450 players in the league at the top level, right? Right. And they know they're one of the 450. So it's not like all of a sudden they're right. out of the league. They're still getting paid. And well, it can I be mean, disappointing. You're phasing times. people out of the league all the time. That's, yeah. I mean, it's a, yeah. It's a Darwinian system. Very much so. That's why we love sports is because it's like everything else in the country seems to devolve away from meritocracy. Mm -hmm. Right, for reasons that are somewhat and valid, and sometimes very valid, you know, it, it, it's all different, right? But sports, but sports, you play to win. There is no, there is not one. I never doubt that those four fifty are the best four fifty. And it's insane. I mean, everybody's played basketball at some point. And what other industry can say that? None. Certainly not the sociology department. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no academic institution <laughs> anywhere can say that. They're, 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 or, or really almost any institution. No, for sure, right? I mean, whether it's government, whether it's a major corp corporation, academic, there's so much bullshit these days because you have to have people who manage people who, you know, try to no. watch out for people's feelings, and it's just... I have no doubt that those are the best 450, but the refs... <laughs> that's been an expensive topic for me. And if oh, you were to see, right. yeah, <laughs> I could find a lot. Or, yeah, but if no, you were seeing yeah, our game I mean, last I night. I find, not to make everything political, but like in general, I must tell you, and you know, I was a minority owner of the Mets. I didn't Did know you that. know that for no. 10 years? No. Yeah. So I, have a, I know what it's like to be able to have a box and all that stuff and uh -huh. feel, and, and also lose money. I lost a fortune in That's the crazy. <laughs> yeah, the capital calls. Or, yes. And then made a lot of money from well, it. Well, that's because that was the owner at the time that got hit by Madoff, right? Correct. Yeah. The Wilpons. The Wilpons. That's Stevie that's Cohen, I'm yeah. sure he's a buddy of yours. No, and, not. No, really? No, it's not like billionaires hang out. That's not my crew. Yeah, they think the same thing about people in show business. <laughs> right. <laughs> like you all know a, each other. You all know each other. No, fuck no. But, um, but I must say, Sports is too regulated. It's there's like I will see somebody make 
the most incredible catch. And then they'll watch, of course, the replay like the Zapruder film. <laughs> right. And it just, the ball like jiggled a tiny tenth of an inch and they take the catch away. And I just want to go, fuck you. Fuck this That's because you don't own the team anymore because that no, can no, be... No, no, no. This that, is football I'm oh, talking football, about. Football. I'm talking about yeah. football. Guy football. makes a catch. Right, and I know. Just, and it's an amazing catch. Sideline, toe tapping. The pass is perfect. And in the old days when they didn't have replay, of course it would just yeah. been like, oh, I always want to go close enough, <laughs> you assholes. <laughs> close enough. Yeah, but you know, how else are they going to fill the time in football? There's only like 12 minutes of real football in a football game. But I feel like there is a parallel with that and the feeling of being overregulated as a citizen, mm -hmm. which we know in California. Mm -hmm. I'm sure all for, do. you know, intelligent liberal moves, but like this state is nuts. Yeah, they do go a little bit overboard. I could not live here as a permanent resident just because of the taxes right? and the regulation. Yeah, I love coming out here, but I'm a visitor. And those are the reasons, taxes and regulations. That's a big part of it, yeah. Right. Just because, I mean, look what's happened in San Francisco. I mean, an entire industry is getting pushed out. You know, the whole technology industry went from, well, okay, this is, this is growth, this is, you know, the new thing, and now, you know, it's just about people shitting on the street. I was going to say... The cleaning up the shit off the street industry is doing very <laughs> really well. well. You know, the apps that say where you can go take a shit. Cleaning the, broken glass industry. It, you know, just smashing. I mean, smashing I don't want to. I don't want to add to the shit on the street and take a dump on San Francisco. <laughs> I I love San Francisco. I think we all love San Francisco. No, you never. No, did? I'm not, I've never been a big San Francisco fan at all. You know, I know what you mean. It's a little clicky, pretentious as fuck, right? Being in the tech industry. Right. Everybody right. is the smartest motherfucker in the world right. if you live in Silicon Valley. Well, and also too politically correct. Uh, not know, so much I, anymore. As for a comedian. Maybe, yeah, maybe. You know, it's the kind of place that's like, oh, I know you think you're smarter, but you're not, first of all, you're not smarter than the people in Tulsa. Right. Who come to my right. show anyway. Right. And they're a whole lot more fun. I mean, the attitudes, I mean, it's just like, that's, we're tech bros. We're tech bros. Of course we're smarter. You know, we went to Harvard, we went to MIT, we're in tech. You just can't hang, right? You don't know what the fuck is going on. I I do all I can not to let any of my investments work out of Silicon well, Valley. Well, tech is, I mean, just because you're good at tech doesn't mean you're the smartest person in the world. Fuck no. Oh, no. okay. Yeah. Right, you're good at that one thing, which is very important, it's a vital, But they're huge... not even that good at it. They're just <laughs> there to pretend that they're right. good at it, right? You know, because if it was, look, there's, there's a lot of capital there, so that's, People follow the money. I get that, right? But the pretentiousness and the attitude and the expectations and the arrogance, like, it's just a business. And you can be good anywhere in the world. Hopefully, you'll come here to this country and, you know, make the choice like immigrants used to and come right. here and start companies. Right. But I'd rather start a business in Dallas all day, every day. I will not Oh, I, I, San Francisco. I know, of course. And... Or Florida, you know, I mean, this, no, look, I hear this from so many people I know who, you know, again, the woke will cast this as some sort of too conservative. No, we're not conservatives. No. We're not conservatives. I'm certainly. It's, it's just like, you guys don't get it. Woke and liberal are two different things. They're very often the fucking opposite of each other. Yeah. So don't lump and then be like, anybody to the right of woke is a conservative. No. It, we, it drives people me just want to live freedom should be a liberal thing it mean, that's, the word is that's what liber means free free right and look we can have different attitudes but just the idea of people getting classified as woke or non-work or conservative we don't talk about ideas anymore we don't talk about solutions anymore i do we talk about categories you right? do you yeah do i do I all do. the time yeah, yeah for sure I mean, but generally, people just want to classify you. Well, what they know, what they want to do is just hear what they already think they know. Yes. And root for the team. And and they. I always say people need deprogramming. And then it struck me, no, idiot, they like programming. They like being okay, so programmed. They they don't. Of course, they don't want to be. Deprogrammed. Here's what I think. Here's what I think. So, my generation. I'm 64 years old. I'm a boomer, right? And we grew up sex, drugs, and rock and roll. So it's so disappointing that we evolved to be the Fox News generation, the News Nation generation, all these TV stations that dictate to my peers what to think. And thinking about it, it was like, how did this happen? 
Well, we grew up thinking TV was authoritative. TV was the authority in any subject. Right. You know, Walter Cronkite says it. Yeah. Dan Rather says it. Yeah. It's gospel. Right. Right. I heard it on the news. How many times did, yeah. did parents say to us? You're right. I heard it on the news. Now, that doesn't just leave you. You know, it's not like all of a sudden you get to be 65 years old and you stop thinking everything you learned for the first 30, 40 years of your life. Mm -hmm. So when you turn on Fox News or whatever, Newsmax, if it's on the news, it's right. And so they just believe it. Nobody questions it. But that's also true of MSNBC. Well, yes, but they I mean, don't have the size of audience, you know, and I don't... Well, you know, but they have a very influential audience because their audience is, is the media and the people who... Well, that's the difference. See, the difference there is in terms of influence is one thing, right? But you would hope that media and somebody else is not taking it as gospel. Like, they're questioning it. They may watch it. But there are people who are saying, you know, this... This is right. What you know, what Bill Hemming or whoever on Fox says, yeah. it's accurate. I mean, I hadn't done MSNBC in a while, but I did uh, Ari Melber's show a couple uh -huh. weeks ago, and I like him a lot. I think he's I a big talent who actually could do a, a different kind of show, especially with the hip, all the hip hop references. Well, <laughs> not that kind of show, but. But I realized when I was on there for a long time that the things that they cover. Um, certainly not what I would have considered the most important stories of the day, just the stories that most make their audience go, yes, exactly. Uh, yes. He's terrible. Oh, yes, good. Something bad happened to him. Great. Yes. Oh, he, she's great. I love her. And, and yes, something good about her. And it's like, okay. I mean, none of these that. things did. It's not about like, it's sort of like when a cop pulls you over for a taillight. Like, can a cop pull you over all the time for anything and find something? Yeah, they could. It's what you choose to cover. It's not like these things didn't happen. Yeah, yeah. It's what you, it's your perspective. And what, what you're trying and, to accomplish. And are right? you yeah. really trying to find the truth? You know, a lot of people send me things and, <clears throat> you know, a lot of times I just, if I said something to them, it would just be like, I get it, you want me to see this, but when I check it out, it doesn't look like it was sent by someone who really wants the truth. It's just like your side. You right. want your side yeah. verified. And then when I check it out, it's like, okay, this thing wasn't wrong. There was one study that said that. You just didn't tell me about the eight studies that said, said the, something different, right? You yeah. know, yeah. And yeah. So there's like, one so study you, in so Israel. Yeah. So you're not you're not interested in the truth. <laughs> no, you're and, interested in in confirming what you already believe, and I'm not interested in that. No, without question, right? And social media, you go on Twitter, which is. That another question for it, but you want to have an you want to engage with somebody who's going to challenge you intellectually, right? You want some. I always we call do. It, yeah, I call it <laughs> a question lot of people. That's the exact dumb. opposite of what well, they but want. No, I call it you know checking my whole card, right? And it's just like I want to know if I'm right, and so I'll push it out on right. Twitter just for the whole point of someone saying no, you're fucked up I and you're see. wrong, right? Wow. But you can't have, especially now, you can't do that anymore. And with television, to your point. It's just about getting people fired up on their side. And, you know, how do you fix it? You know, what comes next? I don't know. You're the fix guy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know what, I mean, you got enough on your plate with this drug thing. I think, yeah. by the way, I do think it's awesome that you're doing that. Appreciate I that. I mean, yeah. you know, it's, it's, you know, the Republicans used to say about rich people, you know, like we shouldn't be punishing success. And I agree with that. I also agree that we need to, you know, tax, you know, intelligently and... Yeah, I don't mind paying more taxes. I don't either. I've said well, it's the most patriotic not more. thing. Well, I mean, <laughs> but I'm paying, there's the limit, right? Yeah. But, I mean, I pay more than half. Yeah, so do I. No, <laughs> okay. Nothing. So ha I feel like half is already a it's, lot. It's a and, lot, and like, yeah. like, so, like, I don't mind doing it because I do think... Uh, I look at it philosophically. I think being rich, no offense, because you're very rich, is like a little bit of a fluke because yeah, you could have been born at another time Fuck in history. Yes. Right. I'm the luckiest motherfucker in the right. world. I, I you know. <laughs> you right. know? Tell jokes, yeah, figure out right? code, whatever it is. We can sit here and get <laughs> fucked up, whatever works, right. right? But so so looking at it philosophically, I don't feel like, oh, I'm owed this because I'm so no, I Fuck it's no. a lucky thing. So, okay, so I don't mind paying. But just don't, like, give me the, the line, the, the Bernie Sanders, you know, the rich don't pay anything. 
I don't pay anything. I pay more than half. I did. I did my tax. My federal taxes, I paid 38% just on federal taxes. Right. Right. Not property taxes, right. not everything else. And California's right? 13. Yeah. So I'm already over 50. And then then there's, you know. Everything else. Ta- you know, lots of, you know, my fishing and hunting license. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your rifle, yeah. Yeah. Well, rifle I do have. Not a fishing and hunting license, but. I mean, you live in Texas. You must have guns. No, no, I don't. I hire no people. guns? I hire people to have guns. You hire people? <laughs> That's a baller move, yeah. You know who never, ever gets any respect? Who's that? Henchmen. Henchmen? Yeah. Like in, <laughs> like in movies. What have you been smoking? <laughs> no one brings up henchmen. Henchmen. Like it, well, because you apparently have henchmen. No, I don't have henchmen. It sounds like you have henchmen. No, I have henchmen. You just have... said I hire people to have yeah, guns. Yeah, but there's only certain circumstances that I do that, okay, right? Okay, how, how many are we talking about? 73. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> right. I watch old time black and white movies and no, I look for the best it's like, henchmen. It's like the bad guy in his in his underground volcano lair. <laughs> Whatever bad guy is taking, he always has henchmen. He always has because, henchmen. Because like the, the good guy has to kill like all the henchmen. And then he, get, <laughs> and then he gets to like the bad guy's number. Oh my God. Right? It's like it's Jimmy like, Cagney like comes out of retirement. Jimmy Cagney. They didn't, <laughs> no, now they kill like a hundred guys. You know, John Wick and people right, like right, that. Right, right. Right, right, right. So right. you kill all the henchmen, and then you kill the bad guy's main dude. He's always got like a main dude. Right, right. right. Uh, but henchmen. <laughs> and then you kill the bad guy. Oh my God! But no one feels bad for the henchmen, and I feel like it's just a job. They're not really bad people, and no one cares when they get killed. They're just getting a paycheck, <laughs> yeah, okay? right? It's like they got a family. It's like they took. Oh, a, somebody's got to take that job, they, right? They, they, the world needs henchmen, and they're not cheap. No. Henchmen are not cheap. Henchmen are not cheap. <laughs> it's good work. I feel like they should unionize. Oh. But no one feels bad when the henchmen get shot. And I feel like <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that just shows what schmucks people are. Oh my they have god. No pathos for the henchmen. Uh none. Do you smoke pot? <laughs> not anymore. I no, you used to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What um, happened? I just well, one, I have a heart condition. I have AFib, so they told me, you know, nothing. Really? And yeah. pot's bad for that? Yeah. Might be good. No, no, <laughs> no trust me, is. not for me. Oh. Yeah. Oh, thank um, God I don't have that. No, but I, I did. I was never a big pot smoker, though. I mean, it was like in college. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I didn't have a lot of limits back yeah. then, but I wasn't a big pot smoker. Yeah. Let me tell you about when I quit. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, anyway. What were we talking about before the henchmen? henchmen. Oh, you, you, you hire people with guns. Yeah, yeah, I'm just... Yeah, well, you know what? Maybe this is just my paranoia, but a number of world leaders have been assassinated by their own Praetorian Guard, Indira Gandhi, uh-huh. Anwar Sadat. Mm-hmm. It's got to be especially, well, you know, sort of depressing for you to realize that your own people with the ones who turned on you. And I don't gone. have that many henchmen, and I qualify uh, my henchmen. <laughs> my henchmen just, get just, benefits. <laughs> just make sure your henchmen don't turn on you. My, my henchmen, I, I live like you, a normal life for the do? most part. Yeah, what, yeah, kind my, of, what life do you live there? Like, I see you don't even have socks. No, nah, man, because I you forgot them. Some, you need some money, I can lend you some money. I literally worked out, and then I had, oh, shit, all I got is my funky socks. Are you in socks. a hotel out here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, I have most guest people, houses, oh, and I know, I know Elon Musk is couch surfing these days. Maybe yeah, you know. Put you guys together. That would not work. You could be sleeping in the same bed like the Three Stooges and, and, and blowing <laughs> a feather with <laughs> blowing a feather with your Molar, squeeze over, Ooh. squeeze box. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Did you used to watch the Three Stooges? Oh my god, I saw them in person. I saw them the in Three Pittsburgh. Stooges. Yes. And also Abbott and Costello. Yes. So and and Laurel, it's so funny. Oh. Before the gay era. But they used to introduce each other like Abbott and Costello as my partner. And yet they were in no specific business. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. I used to watch Mom, Pa, Kettle, and they had this one little bit where, it, you know, they all would get into the room and be like, squeeze over, squeeze box. So, <laughs> right. Right? So with my, my brothers and I would do it when we were growing up. I have two brothers in one bed. And then with my kids, right, we'd all be sitting there watching a movie. Squeeze over, squeeze box. We are brought to you by Signal Wire. Signal Wire powers the future of cloud communications. Built by the tech OGs, the original geeks of software defined telecom, their mission is to make it simple for you to build whatever you can imagine. 
using real-time voice, video, or text messaging. The OGs at Signal Wire have spent decades solving the most complex and awkward problems in communications. From broadcast quality video to ultra-low latency voice and messaging, SignalWire has the APIs and SDKs to create unique and intelligent communications experiences from within existing applications or websites or building a new app from scratch. Join the millions of other customers like Amazon, Ring, and Home Depot who are using SignalWire technology to build the communications experiences of the future. And in the spirit of the holiday season, SignalWire wants to give you a gift. Visit SignalWire.com slash random and claim a free t-shirt when you sign up for a demo. Go to SignalWire.com slash random and claim your free t-shirt. Go to SignalWire.com slash random. So are your kids insufferably woke? No. Of, no? Oh, fuck no. Because you live in Dallas? No, it's not even that. I think, you know, the 13, 16, and 19, and, you know, my oldest is, you know, adamantly pro-choice, but we don't talk a lot of politics in our house. I mean, we, we don't, really? I don't try to push anything on them. I want them to think. Because all my friends, at least the ones like on the coasts, who are like our age, mm -hmm. and they have kids who are usually like in their 20s mm -hmm. and stuff like that, and they all bitch endlessly about they're fucking woke kids. And these are, lib again, these are liberal people. Yeah. These are not people who are voting for Trump. You know, they in the social media era, everybody has to virtue signal in their own way, right? By the clothes you wear or don't wear, by the places you go, by the people you're associated with, because every single person, particularly if you're 13 to 25, you're a brand. You know, and you right. manage your social media. I mean, right. we see it in the NBA. These kids come in, you know, right. with a million followers, and they they know what to wear, what not to wear. And so, when my daughter's on TikTok, or either my daughter's on TikTok, or my son, there's there's a way to do it, and you don't have to necessarily be political, but you're sending messages. Well, I mean, it is a whole different ball game owning a team managing a team, coaching a team in this day and age yeah. with the kind of kids coming up and how they were raised and so forth. It's, I'm sure, I mean, I'm kind of pulling this out of my ass and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I've, I think I've read this and heard this and talked to people who said it, that, I mean, the coach, it just can't be that old school. No, it's, it's changed 180 degrees. Do it my way and give me 20. Fuck no. Fuck, these, give me 20 push-ups? These no. guys, right, they just don't stand for it's it. It's not you, even that. They want to be coached, right, but they, they have, you have to connect to them, right? Connecting to a 20-year-old today, you have to recognize who they are because they've told the world who they are in their social media. Right. And if you don't know, then you're not being a coach, right? right? You're not going to be able to have a... But a, what does that entail, knowing just look at the who, social media. who they are? Yeah, look at you. Like, I follow all my guys on social media. So you know their tastes. Yeah, and, you and know they what they're about. That. And look, they're not... What they do in their DMs is a whole lot different than what they show publicly. But just getting a sense for who they are and what they're into, it's a lot easier today than it used to be. What are they into in their DMs? I'm more interested oh, in that. Oh, just women. Yeah, just women. Just women. women. Oh, my God. You know, I'm sure. Are you on social media? No. No. Not really. Yeah, I, I don't remember seeing you anywhere. But, <laughs> on it. but I'm just telling you, at my age, I get some freaky shit from, from women. And I can't even imagine what these young, you know, good-looking guys right. making a lot of money. And just the stories they tell me are just insane. So how do you see the freaky shit? Oh, because they just send it to me in my DMs, you know. Oh, you're hot. Yeah, right. I'm rich. So, <laughs> wait, but, okay, I don't even understand, I guess. I thought you had to, like, know someone to no, have no, direct No, no, so the way it works. Or anybody can direct yeah, message Yeah, so you just you? follow me, and, right, I have mine open oh, so see. that if, if you follow me and you want to send me a message, 99 No, I should, you know, every year I make it a New Year's resolution to get into social media, and then I don't do it. And, I, and like, so, when I, whatever I know about it just makes me go, God, what a fucking waste of time, and what a minefield. Don't you feel like it's a minefield of potential? Oh, yeah. Well, then, <laughs> but yeah, I guess you have to do it for business, right? I have to do it for business. Yeah. It's a platform to promote. It is. But it's also a way to learn, right? Because everybody, You're right. Just, You're everybody right. just tells you who it they is. are. You're right. You know, and um, you see, I'm, I'm just telling you, for as fucked up as TikTok is, it is the best parental tool in the world. Right. Because all I have to do, because, you know, the way TikTok works, it's not about who you follow. It's about an, an artificial intelligence that, you know, based off of what you watch, it sends you more of it. Right. So if I want to know what my kids are into, right. I just look at their TikTok feed. Right. And, and it's like, you know, you and I, when we were growing up, we're like, yeah, dad, yeah, mom, whatever, whatever. Right. And our parents had no idea. None. 
Now it's really easy to figure out. I mean, I talk to people in their 20s. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not married. <laughs> Just leave it at that. I'll drink to that too. Yeah. <laughs> I never have been. So, so like, I, I'm endlessly fascinated. But I need to hear it from the horse's mouth. Okay. You know, I'm just not a social, I just, first of all, I just You think, will get laid a thousand times more if you were on social media. I don't care. Okay. Well, you will I have don't interesting care. conversations a thousand times more. And I, you know what? But people, first of all, I don't trust anything that's in the cloud. Like, I, it's just, I just don't, I'm not interested, first of all. And I just don't want to put my shit out there. Uh, you're, you get to control it. You I don't think, you know, so Now, what people say about you, they're going to say anyways. When people right. are going to give you shit, that's irrelevant whether you're on I've social. I've seen too many people embarrassed. Like, if you do uh, something stupid, <laughs> right? Yeah. If no, you open just, just because, you know, it's just embarrassing to, it's like seeing a celebrity on the subway. It's like, what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> you, would take the, yeah, right. you would take the subway? I just, I don't want to be, uh, it's, uh, no. Subway. Yes. What? Yes. With the rats and pushing yes. on the tracks. Why the no, fuck? No, the pushing on the tracks, that? not so much. What, right? Would you? Yes. You, a billionaire, would take the subway. Yeah, you put a hat on. You know, you're just nice put to people. Put a hat on. Yeah, it's easy. Um, well, good. You do you. Uh, me, I'm like, I don't have your kind of money. So, like, whatever money I do have, I think of money as like cushions. Like when I started out. I had no cushions. My ass was right on the cold. I was hard right there bed. with you. I right. was right there with you. And you know what it feels like. And then, like at a certain point in my twenties, I feel like, oh, I have one cushion. Yeah. Ah, it's not the greatest, but it's a cushion. It's a cushion. It's like you know, I'm sitting on some, one cheek on is, something. is taken care of. Yeah. Right. And then I got two and three, and you know, now I got. You know, all the cushions you need. Yeah, I'm just like lying on a <laughs> <laughs> like a sultan on a bunch of fucking pillows and cushions. So uh, I forget what that was all about, <laughs> <laughs> but for some reason it was very important to right? me to but, explain yeah. that I have cushions. I'm just telling you, social media. Oh, if you know how to use it, and and you have a little bit of control, right? No, you're so it's right. Fun. I'm it's fine. Like, I I totally agree with you. Um, like when I and, get these naked pictures, I can't respond to them, right? I, I won't respond to them. Naked pictures? Yes, but it's insane. You know, these 20 something year old women, and a couple times men, it was just like, <laughs> it's just like, oh, you're hot. Oh, I think you're so but, special. Okay, so here, and you, here, you ignore it, but it's fun to get them. Okay, so you're talking about, you're saying the reason why I don't want to do this. You're, you're, you're saying you can't trust these people. You don't think they're sincere. No. And there's no way you can evaluate sincerity over the phone with just pictures and text. Of course not. It's it's designed to be opaque. So why would I want to enter into that? Because it's entertaining. As <laughs> you're right. I should. No, I'm not I'm not I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not really like, You don't have to like you're not you don't have to like oh wife potential no, number I, one. Like, you know? It's it's I, I I never defend the things about me that I feel are deficient. I want to better them. Yeah. I, I want to do I'm this. I'm the same way. I'm not I'm arguing the same. I'm with the you. same way, yeah. I really do. Like we were talking before about, like, I love to say I don't know because then I learn something, yes. okay? Uh, to and, me, being curious And I don't want to like, be like, no, I do everything great. No, I do this horribly, <laughs> and I want to be better. Yes, yes, yes. I, I mean, because just that's what keeps you going, right? Just that curiosity about life. That's what that's what gets me all jazzed up, right? Because, well, you know, and then it sounds corny and cheesy and everything. Maybe but, you'll mentor me. On no. social media. No. You oh, won't... on social media? Yeah, for sure. Really? Yeah, for sure. You take easy. a day out and mentor me. It'll take about 16 minutes, and that's about <laughs> it. It's really, it's not that tough, you know? You're it's, so right. It's just willpower. It's just, I'm just afraid of it. And, like, again, I feel like it's a bunch of phony You stand bag. up and do comedy in front of people that you don't know, and you literally open yeah, up yourself to that shit. Yeah, but they know me. Yeah, but still. They I mean, bought a ticket. They know me. And they're coming to have a so, good time, but and still. They, right. And they, social media is the same way. No one's going to DM you or, or reply to you because they don't know you. Hey, and it's funny as fuck when I get those, right? You know, I, I never knew who you were, but you look really interesting. Really? <laughs> yes, and it's bullshit, obviously. So but, you just read it for amusement? Yes. Okay, but, but you certainly, with all your zillions of followers, you can't possibly read all of them. No, no, no. But it's really easy. So you easy. just sample them? Yeah, and it's really easy. Like, you can tell sometimes if it's a kid and they have a question about something, then it's really nice to respond, you know? Kids are on it? 
Yeah, thir- yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like little kids? Yeah, you know, 13 and old, 15, oh, 16, boy. 18 year old. But you know, it's like you get questions about being in media or be doing comedy, right? How'd you get started? And nine, you know, most of the time it's hard to like deal with everybody to respond to those, but it feels good every now and then. Hey, I'm looking at starting a business, well, can you help me? I always tell kids the same thing. I got started the old fashioned way <laughs> by giving blowjobs under a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. And, and you should too, kids. Uh, Don't be too proud to blow people under a bridge. <laughs> Jesus, these kids today. Uh, uh, just they won't do what they need so to do. Entitled. Right? Won't do what they need to do. No. It's well, too funny. So, um, there was something I wanted to ask you. You know, as you can tell, this is like zero agenda show. No, I love it. I, I love, love it, right? So, isn't it great? Yes. Oh, you, like, I mean, I, I spent, you notice I've been cracking up half the show, I right? I know. That's what I said. <laughs> I, you know, there was a million podcasts, and I said, yeah, but, but there's a big hole for one that's like not looking like a shot in the day. You know, with big penis microphones in front of your face. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, no, exactly. It's like, it's a little, like, can't we just be like I really am off camera? Yes. Like, in it's, my it's like, little imagine if political club. debates, you had to take a shot between every question, right? right? So, you know, you get the true And person. nobody else here. The cameras are built into the walls. We're just two guys. Just and it's like, you're, you're a guy I always wanted to know. Well, I appreciate that. And, like, it's so a little sad that people like us, we only really get to know each other when we work together. Yeah, it's true. It's, it's really like true. Our work is so, you know, I, I, I've said to people before, like, I never married, obviously. I had kids. My show is my kid. Yeah. So. And like that's I, not a bad thing. It's you know? not a bad thing. No. Man. And. You, you know, we're, we're so fucking lucky because we get to. This show's make my own, mistress. <laughs> we get to make our own choices. You know, people are like, you know, what freedom. is the best part about being rich? Freedom. Freedom, right? Money is another word for freedom. Time. I get to control my time. When I was poor, I did not even have the freedom to eat what I wanted. And many poor people don't. I used Can to go to the grocery about- store at midnight because they lowered the price of chicken really? and, and these big <laughs> french fries, right, to a buck twenty-nine. That's a great and, story. and I would buy a bunch of them. I was the guy. <laughs> wow. I was I would walk down and we'd have my friends and it'd be like, okay, stand there. And I'd take the cheese whiz, open the top. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. Yeah, just dumb no, shit I like did, that. I, when I was at Cornell, the Cornell bookstore where you bought all, you know, it was used yeah. textbooks. Yeah. That, that's how college works. But they also had, like, just tons of books. And they had a system where they were tables of books. What was on the tables on Monday cost a dollar. And it would go down every day so that... By Friday, it was 10 cents if the book was still there on Friday. I would go in on Monday. Hide the book? Many, bo- <laughs> many books. Notice I knew exactly. You know how I got my first car in Dallas? The way I got my first car in Dallas, I had when I drove from Indiana to Dallas, I had a hole in my floorboard, right? So I knew it was Obama had that. He told, it, he told the story in 60 Minutes. There was a hole. Yeah, I could see the lines go And by. Michelle goes, yeah, remember, we could see the road. It was, and you know, I had to put in oil every 60 miles, whatever. And so my, that car was dead. And so I was driving around with my buddies and I was, I had credit cards cut up. I had, you know, bill collectors and I saw a car on the side of the road and it wasn't fucked up. I told my buddies, stop, <laughs> stop, <laughs> right? Because I knew from my own personal experience that someone had abandoned that because they couldn't make the payment. So I, it's unlocked. And right on the, the, I'll never forget, right on the seat, there is a little envelope that was a little bit thick, right? Meaning there was loan papers in there. I called the bank the next day and I said, I found this car for you because I know you were looking for it. Can I take over the payments? And they said, since you got it for us, yes. And that's how I got my first but car. So that would never happen today. <laughs> no, the car you, would be jacked. <laughs> no, because you'd never get a human on the phone. Well, that's true, true. Yeah, that's true, too. But I called right to the bank. You and never get a human who could, like, actually make, make that a decision. decision. Yeah, that's true. And that's, we seem to go to this, everything is moving toward this unhuman place, you know, where dating is just by, you can't date that way. You have to look in someone's eyes. You have to feel their presence, Yeah. you know. To, you can't do it over an app. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm outside the app range, right? Because, uh, you know, being married and everything, but... Yeah, but <laughs> what, just, everything? And my wife is hot, so I like to fuck my wife, so I'm good there. Hey, but, way. Yeah, w- right? <laughs> hey! hey. Um, but, yeah, I mean, 
but that's your social media thing, right? You got to just connect to that. I'd say I, I like online. I really, really do because it gives you access no, to you everybody. Have such an, I mean, this is where the world has moved. You have such an advantage if you have such an advantage like over me, not that we're in competition. Right. <laughs> we're like in the Godfather. Your business doesn't conflict with mine, so go ahead. Get into, go ahead, her, right? get into heroin. I don't give a fuck. I'm the Godfather. But uh, no, our businesses don't conflict, but you have such an advantage because you naturally acclimated to this. Yeah. You know, and we're basically the same age, yeah. but you not, but some people do, and some people don't. I'm into new and shit, right? If me, it's new. I, but the f funny thing is, I am too. Even more than almost everybody I know, because I never got married, because I never had kids. You know, I never got stuck in like the, okay, I'm now the past paradigm. Like, <laughs> I'm not young, but I'm also the latest version of me. Which is cool as fuck, right? Which and I never really, really cool. changed my lifestyle. You know, but, but that brings up another question, right? You know, we're at that age where, in your mind, you're like, okay, am I supposed to act my age, right? What is acting my age? And I fight that shit. I fight. My friend has a great saying. He's actually quoting somebody. I forget who. Don't let the old man in. Hundred percent. Yeah. And you and it's so easy not to. Well, I mean, not easy. You have to like work at it to a degree. But, but, but it's, it's, it's so easier worth to it. fall. It's so easier to fall in it, like because everybody expects you to, right? How you dress, where right. you go, what you do, what you drink, what you look exactly. like, exactly. How you do your hair, what clothes well, you wear. The one thing you can't control is how you look. You're going to age. Well, people and, in Beverly Hills will tell you different. <laughs> but <laughs> but like, Father Time is undefeated. Like, the difference between how people took care of themselves. The way it shows up at people are already... Now, you could take care of yourself horribly in your mid-30s. You probably don't look that different than somebody else in their mid-30s. At our age, it can be enormous, night and day. I mean, there are people enormous. who can't walk. No, it's crazy, right? And they're decrepit. Well, and so they... Now the, we have the friends who are dying, and it's fucking freaky And dead as people. Fuck, yeah. right? Because you, you get a sense of your own mortality. Not right. to get morbid and all this, but it's just like... No. When people die, you feel bad for their families, and but look, you... It's, I mean, people are saying, well, it's easy for you to. Yes, you're right. It is easier to be healthy and live longer when you're doing well. Absolutely. Not just materially well, but feeling good about yourself, yes. which materially well is part of. Yes. yes. But it's not the main thing, but it's just like, it's not the money itself, although that's good too. But it's the mindset. It's like, yes. It's like, you, you oh. You don't have to be rich to fucking just say, let's go out and dance. Right. 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 Or just, you know what? I, it's great to listen to 70s right. music, but I'm going to put on you right. know, Taylor Swift because I want to know what you the fuck is Taylor Swift. You go to the subway. <laughs> right? I, do, cause I, wanna, <laughs> I don't know why. When I go to New York, I will, you know, I stay up right around um, Columbus Circle. I'll walk right down to the Alphabet Street. Straight shot, just walk around. Well, walking in New York, I agree. That's it's beautiful. Great. Okay. Yeah. But the subway... I don't mind. I don't mind. Did you ever see the taking a Pelham one, two, three? Yes. <laughs> I saw the original, motherfucker. I, I just saw it the... again. It's fantastic. Oh, that was fucking crazy. You know, put aside way, whoever it was, John Travolta or whoever. That was the Desert. remake. Yeah, yeah that, that was, was remake. okay, but it was but a different the original, kind of original, I saw it in a theater, Walter right? Walter Matthau. Yes. Oh. Oh, that was a classic. Robert Shaw. Yes. Straight from Jaws. That was a classic. I saw it with my dad, yes. actually. Yes, it's it was great. a classic. Do you remember the ending, the sneeze? No, I don't. The be I'll, I'll spoiler alert because none of you kids are going to watch no, this, but you no. should. It's awesome. Um, the uh, four guys hijack a, a train, yeah, and Martin Balsam, the whole time, he's one of the hijackers. He's on the radio. Yeah. <laughs> Gesundheit, says Walter Matha, who works for the subway. He's the subway cop. So he knows he's got a cold, you know. And then they go at the end of the movie, they catch the guys. One guy gets away. They don't know who it is. They're checking all the people who used to work for the subway system. And he goes to Martin Balsam's apartment. He interviews him. And, and okay, we can't do anything. It's probably not you. They leave the... <laughs> and he sneezes. Bam! <laughs> and then the last shot is just Walter Matthau. Bam! His head through the door. See, okay, that brings up another point, it's right? Just awesome. Because you can't fall into that trap. Well, it was great back then, and it sucks now. No, this one is good. This No, that up. was a great movie, many, but many you know do, what I'm saying, many right? Many movies do not hold up. But it's not even about the movies holding up. It's just us and personally how people approach aging, right? And if you get into that mindset, well, it was great back then and it sucks now, you're fucked. But you know what never changes in movies? What's that? Henchmen. <laughs> they're always... <laughs> the henchmen, yeah! They're always the fucking henchmen. killing henchmen. Always killing and good kill. nobody gives a shit. Oh, I remember. What? There was, like I was saying before... Obviously, this is not a show I 
put any thought into, which is the way I, I want to do it. Because this is not. Because again, I wanted to do something that was exactly like my life. Who puts thought into like, oh, good, I'm going to meet yeah, Mark every... Cuban for dinner. What I'm going to take notes. But there is one thing. But I might say to myself, there's one thing I really want to ask him about, okay. which is Bitcoin, because okay. I've been very anti-Bitcoin, okay. and I don't think you are. No. And then recently there was a big Bitcoin getting fucked to death, dive, right? and I must tell you, I'm rooting against Bitcoin, and never that's okay. against you. No, that's I love okay. you even more now. No, that's that okay, I got right? To know you. I'm, I root, I'm rooting against. But, I want Bitcoin to go down a lot further so I can buy some more, right? Wow. Because if, if you ever buy gold, what do you think about gold? <laughs> what do you think about gold? I think, it's good. I think it's good when you're trying to get laid. <laughs> right? But no, not when you're I mean, wearing gold. Yeah, come on, baby. No. Um, like, would you buy gold as an investment? I, I have gold. Okay. I, everybody likes to You know have, what? If you have gold, you're dumb as fuck. Well, I mean, it never... It's, it, a, it's, a, it's a small part. It's like a hedge against everything else. It's a henchman there. against everything, but... Yes, it is. It's no, a, and, would I be but all it's not in gold? Hedge, no. No, but it's not a hedge against anything, right? What it is well, is a, a store of value, and you don't yeah. own the physical gold, do you? No, no, of course. Well, I don't Who the fuck knows? It, what, it, what I know is that it never goes away. It's always worth something. You can always sell it. Just like and, Bitcoin. Bitcoin, gold is a store of value, and so it's, is Bitcoin. That, that's not, that's a, that is an apt analogy. Because you don't hold the gold. But gold, but the world is not run by gold. No, it's not, and it's not run by Bitcoin either. It's well, a, it's, it, but it's, yeah, you're, I mean, I can't deny that. It's, it, although it is based on actually mining something, which is crazily, that's why we got off the gold standard, because it's crazy to hook a, car- a currency to what you can find in the ground. But but you and your ownership, you don't own the gold bar. And if everything went to hell, hell in a handbasket and you had a gold bar, you know what would happen? Someone would beat the fuck out of you or kill you and take your gold bar. <laughs> they, and then, then they could use the bar to hit, hit somebody and that's it. You're not gonna, what are you going to shave a little piece of gold so someone waves, waves no, it? I mean, look, it's, it's I mean, useless. If you, the, the idea that currency is a, is a state of mind, this is in, by the way, Yuval Harari's great book, Sapiens, about... Humans are different than apes because humans can organize in great numbers just about an idea. Mm-hmm. Now, the idea could be we got to go kill everybody who isn't a Christian <laughs> or we got to go kill everybody who isn't a Muslim. Those ideas, bad ideas. But, like, the idea that money is an idea is not wrong. No, it's right. But we tie our money to, I mean, Apple makes something. A phone is something real that you, you drop really in the toilet. You really need gold jewelry. If the world, no, but if you're gold obsessed jewelry with gold. Most of the economy is not gold. No, but the point Most I Most of the economy is iPhones, which is a about real Bitcoin. thing with real value, right, but we're talking about, and it's been valued at $1,000. So talking it's pegged about, to something. We're talking about Bitcoin. And Bitcoin which is pegged to nothing. Which is, neither is gold, really. Right? Again, gold. If you gold was own- if gold was controlling our economy right now, I would say you have a good argument. Gold is not. We got off gold in the thirties. No, that's, that's, you're making my point, though, Bill. You're making my point. When you own gold, all you own is a digital transaction. When you which own is bit- why we're not mostly in gold. And, and that's fine, right? <laughs> I'm not mostly in Bitcoin, right? It's just something that I own. Okay, but it's just. It's, it's this digital transaction, and it, it's a store of value. That's the term for it, a store of value. So people perceive that there's value associated with gold, well, I mean, and there's I, value associated with Bitcoin. That's as it. Warren Buffett said, um, it's just really about having something that you can sell to somebody else that has absolutely no value, and then it's their problem. So it is... But that's a share of stock in like 90% of the companies out there, right? <laughs> you think that? Yes, yes. <laughs> You know, I can go on for days about this shit, but look, when it comes down you to crypto... You think most companies are shit. It's not that... The price of a share of stock that doesn't pay a dividend is worth what somebody will pay for it. That's it. You have a big hit with that Shark Tank thing, though. Yeah. It's it's 14 years. 14 years? 14 years. 13 for me. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's insane, isn't it? All right. I know you're not the guy who wants to come and just have drinks with a friend and hear Fuck this. Fuck yeah, I do. <laughs> Let's get I'm just, up. I'm just going to put it out there. Soundproof underwear. Okay. So Sound Bitcoin, proof. I think, is a good investment. <laughs> Soundproof <laughs> underwear, not so much. And I'm not telling well, people. I'm not people, telling people to buy think about Bitcoin. The guy who farts a lot. <laughs> you smell. You dealt it. You, you know. Think about the guy. Well, but if it's soundproof. You can't prove it. That destroys the whole purpose of a fart. I'm just saying, think about, <laughs> I'm just thinking about it. I'm just saying, think about it. Do you laugh? I hate ever- to be that guy at the party who's like, oh, Mark Cuban, I'm going to pitch him my genius idea. Soundproof I, underwear? No. 
I guess I am. No, yeah, it's going to take a lot more alcohol for that to be good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you drink. I'm sorry you don't smoke, but I'm not sorry. I mean, it's no, it personal, is what it is. Yeah, yeah it it's is a what personal it is. choice. I mean, I probably should quit, um, but I can't think of a good reason why. Be you, right? Whatever. I, yeah, I need it for everything I do that I value. I, I don't give a fuck. I you need it. Be you. No, I know. I, I mean, it's probably not great for my lungs, but, uh, you know, I'm not obsessive with it. Um, I save it for when I'm wanting to really have a good time. Um, I'm very circumspect. I, I feel like you're probably the same way. You like, you, your life is too good. You don't want to fuck it up. Isn't that the like, scariest thing of everything? Right? It's like something's got to go wrong. Of course. Yeah. It's well, just it like, will. <laughs> and it will, right? No one dies healthy, right? But it's like, <laughs> shit. No, it's great. No one dies healthy. Exactly. But, so simple, but so true. So true, yeah. right? But it's like when things go so well, it's like, what the fuck? Something's got to happen. You know? Oh, yeah. Did you ever see Broadcast News? Yeah, of course. Remember that movie? Yeah. And William Hurd is the news anchor, and he has that great line. He says, you know, what do you do when. Everything you dreamed of comes out better than your expectations. And Albert Brooks is like, keep it to yourself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that and the nest egg. You know, I, I'm jealous of you because you remember movie lines. I wish I could. I don't remember that shit at all. Oh, I can do like um, Gone with the Wind. I can oh, my do God. The Godfather. That's Some people insane. can do impressions. I Actually, you have to do the impressions for the movies. But um, See, to me, that's yeah. a talent that I wish I had. For well, sure. Yeah, I mean your talent did pretty well for you, like. But that's not the point. It's I, like you said. No, I know. Better, but yeah. like we all look. There's a there's a, a smorgasbord of things out there that would be advantageous, you know, as they're making you up in heaven. Wink, wink. <laughs> you know, there you get this one and this one and this one. You don't get this one and this one. And this one. Would I have liked to be six foot two? I would, but God fucked up. And made me five eight. <laughs> you know, so like there's a lot of things that, but like in general, the ones that I did get worked out very well really, as they really did for you. So yeah. we, you know, you would not go back and pick a different. No, you know, hell no. no. It's like you get that question right, which I hate. The one question I always say: What would you do differently in your twenties? And I always tell people the same thing. Absolutely fucking nothing, right? It turned out perfectly. Your twenties? No, you know how people ask. I would you, do everything different. I wouldn't. Your 20s? No, fuck no. Really? Oh, I you, had a well, great time. You must have... No, I didn't. Oh, I would You change. must be much smarter than me. No, uh, I did I dumb like, shit left and right. Oh, but, but why you would can, you do it again? Man? Because it was dumb and fun. Oh. I mean, it's like, who gives a fuck you're I in your 20s? I felt like mine was more dumb and painful. Yeah, it wasn't so much painful. I did dumb, really? dumb shit. Yeah, dumb shit, but... Um, were you popular with girls when you were young? When I was young? <laughs> no, when I was like my high school age... Fuck well, no. high school, college, early no, 20s. No, I started, so I started to blossom. So wasn't when it I, painful then? Well, when I got to high, when I was in high school, yeah. I mean, literally, I was, I'm 6'2 now. I was probably 5'10". You're 6'2"? Yeah, I was probably 6'2 and a half. Two. Yeah, you know. But um, I was probably 5'10 and a half up until um, I was 18. And I would, weighed more than I do now. And I had glasses. This was pre-contacts. And my parents didn't have a lot. And so, literally, I was playing baseball one day. And running after a ball, bike came this way, smacked me in the mouth, and I had to get caps on these two teeth. Only my parents can only afford um, stainless steel caps. So imagine being 16, 17, and 18 mm -hmm. years old, and every time you smiled, these two teeth were stainless steel. Wow. It was brutal. Nowadays, it would be great. Yeah, you'd be cool, right? It'd be a grill, <laughs> you know, be and I'd be selling them. Check out your grill tubes, I, yeah! Put them back in, you'll be a hit with your team. No shit, right? Like most of the guys on the... But I blossomed, right? And so I, all of a sudden, you know, I had cute girls interested in me, and wow. I was like, fuck, let's go. So who's your big guy now? Obviously, it must Luka, be... Luka, Luka Doncic. Yes. Yeah. yeah, he's the real deal. Yeah. That was smart. To, you, did you lock him up for a long time now? Yeah, yeah, five years. Five years. Yeah, that's good. That's as long as we can lock him up, yeah. Well, also, like, it's a young man's game. Not that he's going to be bad at 28. No, he's 23 now. So. Right, he's going to be still, you know, he, he probably, he's going to be great for 10 years. Yeah, at least. But, um, yeah, you need a, you need a, 
You need a leading man. You know, you, you need, need a star, right? The hard part a star, is less a leading star. man. You need a front man for the band. Absolutely. The right? hard part is getting the right band members around them so that you complement the star right. so you can win a championship, right? So it took time for Steph Curry to get the right people around him. And, right. Know, the hard part for me. Michael was, Jordan. Yeah, it took Michael sure. Jordan eight years to win a championship. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you feel like you have the. I think we're there. We need one or two more pieces, but we, we really? have a path to get there. Yeah. I think we, I mean, we have a shot. We had, we came really close last year. We have a better team this year, but the whole league is better. And what, and but we don't have to talk about basketball. I'd rather talk about alcohol. I'd rather talk about whatever I, else you want to talk I, about. I, sweetheart, <laughs> the idea that I have any agenda about, <laughs> I don't know why that came up. But yeah, like, I don't um, know. I, but it does interest me. Good. I mean, basketball does. I mean, ba I'm a basketball fan. Good. Okay, well, then we can talk basketball. Or not? I don't care. I mean, I mean, I, don't, I also don't care. <laughs> but, That's why I like um, being here. But I do love. Um, I mean, like I don't watch during the season because it's like, I, you know, I feel like sports in general is too important to people, especially American men. Too important. Not like it used to be, though. You know, when I see people, not that I'm, I'm, believe me, I'm one of them. I mean, again, I bought into a team. Yeah, I literally yeah, bought yeah. them. And it's baseball into, of all teams. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And well, it was this. It was the. <laughs> it was the New York franchise. How about this? How about this? Everybody told me not to do it. And I'm talking about my, my money people even. And I said, this is sports. It always goes up. This is, and also, this is not Kansas. And you the one that this is it. not Kansas City. Oh, I know, it's New York. This and I would look at that New franchise. New York. Why didn't everybody else do this? This is the baseball franchise in the National League of New York. They're not making any more of them. No. This is the last one. No. And it was valid at $700 million? Crazy. And look at it now, you know? Well, Just yeah. Timing, like we talk about timing, right? Sometimes, you know, shit happens. But I just feel like sports in general occupies too much of people's psychic energy and they know more about sports than they do about like but things. But you know what? It's changing so much. What I, is? And I get to see it with my kids, right? I own a fucking team. What is changing? Just how kids perceive sports and connect to sports. How? Like, my kids are more interested in the players and the team. Like, when we grew up, our family sat and watched a game, right? Your dad was there watching Saturday afternoon baseball. We all watched baseball, football on Sundays. My right. dad was screaming at the TV for right. the Steelers games, right? <laughs> yeah. Go, go! I'll never forget, right? right? That's not what kids do now, right? Unless it's on their fantasy team. Like, my son will yell at the TV for his fantasy team. Oh, so it's all individuals. It's all individuals, yeah. It's like they're Luka Doncic fans. They're One, Steph Curry fans. Oh they're not God. team fans like they are. It's not that the nobody is. That's We've got diehard Mavericks fans that I love to death, right? Right. I love them to death because they're there screaming and chanting and yelling, defense, defense, defense. But just kids in general, because think about just television what happened in media right so that um most people can't afford old school television you can't they can't afford right. direct tv or whatever so like the guy i think you lost a guy to my knicks yeah jalen brunson okay who was good right yeah so the people who are following him and are his individual fans are going to follow him wherever he goes much more than the, the, it's not like good riddance you know the mavericks it's more like hey we're still you know jb so, i follow you on that's social media so interesting it's so different it's it is, so interesting my son is like i've never heard anybody talk about that that is really interesting and it's like every and not positive i don't feel like it's much more like it's we're all in our silos and our divisive it's heartbreaking because the one thing one thing that kept families together in a lot of respects that was really right. unifying was yep. sports you know it's just like when Everybody was just disagreeing on everything. And, You're right. And then the Olympics came along. I was just hoping that there would be an underdog American team that just went on a run because that would bring us all together, and that didn't happen, right? Because when right. during the Olympics, when it's us against the world, like right. 1980 with hockey and right. whatever, right, where we're, it's an upset, everybody comes together and puts aside everything else. But you know what? Still sports, though, even with the changes because of social yeah. media, I when— mean, when the team when you show, win, everybody loves a winner. Right. Plus, think about it. Right. If the Mets had won this year, then what kind of parade is going to happen? There is no other business where they throw a parade. Right. When Apple sells right. a zillion of those products in right. Cupertino, they ain't throwing a parade. 
Right. right. When the Mets win, when the Mavs won yeah. a championship, the parade, right. and there's hundreds of thousands yes. of people, right. even when it's 100 degrees outside, yeah. the city's on fire. The city is like the high school, yes. and the team is like the high school team. Yes. And they, they, that everybody loves, yes. right? Right. And there's just team that feeling. There's nothing like no. it. There's no other industry where, like, I'll get an email. My son has cancer. Can I get, you know, can I get a signed jersey from Luca? Or my son got, you know, died and we want to bury him in a jersey. Can you get Luca to sign it? That doesn't happen anywhere else. No. And so there's, there is that emotional connection still, but it's different. So then you pay them to sign it. I don't pay them to sign it. <laughs> They're good people, though. I These know, kids are good. With you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> well, come on. It's, a, it's like you said, it's a business. No, I'm sure they're good people. I they mean, are, they you really know. are. Because they're brands yeah. now. They can't be fucked up people. Right. It's harder because everybody knows they're fucked up. Right. What do you think about this Kyrie Irving thing, or is that too political for you? No, it's not at all. Oh. I mean, look, um, what he says off. Does that, does that, right. Are you a Jew? Yeah, I'm Jewish, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm a Yid, right? I, mean, I didn't mean to say, say it like a Gestapo. Or just don't say the Jews, right? Are you right? a Jew? Yeah, just don't say, are you one of the Jews, right? Um, yeah, I'm a Yid. We will see you in the prefect's office tomorrow morning <laughs> yeah. at 10 a.m. Let us right. call it a request. Yeah, no, I'm Jewish. Right. And so um, we've both dealt with that. I don't think America knows that. Or, or, just go to Wikipedia, yeah. <laughs> but they don't, or it doesn't matter. I mean, but. Yeah. You know, they like Jewish. you. I mean, if you're on if you're on the air, and I've been on 29 years, if you're on 13 years, they like you. Yeah, something's going right. They like you. Something's going right. People don't like, you know, people just don't watch what they don't like. No. no. They really don't. I mean, look, the average age on television keeps on getting older, but people keep on coming back. And I love the show because kids watch it. We're like the number one or number two show watched by families together. Is that right? Yeah. And that, that's what's special because now we got people coming on pitching us deals that started watching us when they were 12, 13, 14 years old. I've heard it compared to Trump in that like, oh, he's a billionaire businessman. He's on a show on TV that advertises, wait, I'm just saying what I've heard, what the advertisers. Trump, Trump himself? <laughs> what a smart businessman. No, no, it's not, a, it's not a crazy analogy. So let me tell like, you. Like America did get used to Donald Trump. So Trump. Didn't get used to Donald Trump as like a businessman who's like smart and makes smart decisions in the boardroom. And if you only had that in the Is White that House, right, a guy. <laughs> you're a fire. So let me tell you my I'm, quick, one of my, okay, one I'm of my saying, Trump I'm not saying you're Donald Trump. You're so nothing me, like Donald Trump. No, let I know, I know, I know. So. I'm at the White House for a healthcare thing. Um, and Trump, I didn't expect it, but he's like, oh, come on into the West Wing, right? And just, you know, because I've been shitting on him the whole time and he didn't care. Right. And um, he's talking and he's talking nonsense about a lot of different things, you know, 10% legit and 90% nonsense. And I'm getting ready to leave and, you know, I'm standing up. He goes, that's a good looking suit you got on there. I'm like, thanks. He goes, are you still on that show, Shark Tank? I'm like, yeah. He goes, Baron loves that show. He watches it all the time. I'm like, there you go. Thank you very much. Tell Baron I said thanks. And you liked him for a minute, didn't you? Yeah, for sure. Because I didn't think he was going to win. So I thought, I said literally when he announced it was the best thing that happened to politics because he's not a step for king. Well, I think the same thing is going to happen with the end Bitcoin. Anyway. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I don't know. Shots but, fired. No, no. Well, anyway, I think you'd be... A fabulous president. I'd be awful. Really? I'd be so bad. I have no patience for that bullshit. No, no, no. I know that. You you couldn't run like I couldn't run. I also think I would be a fabulous president. I think you would be too. And yes, because, but you, to, it's what you have to do to get to the job. It's like, the, it's the rivers and the the uh, field of glass you have to cr yes, crawl through. Yes, and for your family, if it was just me, right. fuck that, right? I'm, my I can deal with that. My non-family, yeah. they'd hate it. Yes, <laughs> yes, if you had a family, no, right? I mean, I'd, oh my God. I didn't, no. I didn't, right. Every story, everything you've ever done, every picture that's ever no. taken about you, no, there's it's no not, fucking way. That's why I'm not even on it. <laughs> not even I mean, on it. <laughs> But I'm no, telling you. Yeah, I know you are. I'll give you my 16 no, minutes. Oh, no, no. I, I definitely want to do this, by No, the way. I'm happy we'll I go need, to dinner, yeah. I need a mentor. I got you. I do. I got it's, you, it's, Bill. It's, it's, it's great that you can be 66 years old and admit you need a mentor. I do. <laughs> but I'm not going to get someone like 32 who doesn't Maybe 22. Who, who doesn't get Really me. cute. <laughs> I've tried that a million times. <laughs> and we're looking forward to a million I, and I, one. I, I yeah. know. I think I need someone who knows how someone might. I got might. you. I got you. You got me. I got you. you right. got Don't go there I, and say someone need, my age, I, right? I it's not a, age. I need a peer. 
I got you. I need a peer. It's not because so you know both sides. Yeah. You can do it. You're native to it, or you act like you no, are. No, I am. Yeah. And you both know. Which you also one? know who I am. Yeah. It's like sure. the, the guy from the 1960s. You would, you would have a blast. You would have a blast because you just use it however you want to use it. You know what my my other big complaint about social media is that it has supplanted reading. And reading, kids, is a really good thing. It's, I'm an actual book, and I just think of so many people, especially anyone like under 40, who I would, and some people who I do not think are stupid at all. They're not stupid. They're intelligent people. But I could not imagine them reading a book. Okay, so two sides here, right? I'm going to take both sides, right? Somebody 40 and over, even 30 and over, if you're not reading, you're fucked. A right? book? A book, anything. A right? whole book. A whole book. Right? All the way through. All the way through. You're fucked, Right. Um, Fuck because because you're not you're not expanding your mind. I tell my kids it doesn't right? always work. You know, somebody who doesn't read lives one life. Somebody who reads lives an unlimited number of right. lives. Right, but they don't read; they scroll. Well, scrolling no, so, is not reading. So let me just tell you. So here's what I learned. Um, my son, my my 16 and 19 year old, you know, we bribe them to read by saying, okay, you read this books or X number of page books, and you get shoes or whatever you want. So we bribe them, and they do it. And, you know, and then we have conversations about the book. And I like that. That's good. That's cool. Yeah. Um, but my youngest, my 13-year-old son, he's like, I don't like to read. So I'm like thinking to myself the same thing you are. That's just wrong. It's, it's, it's you know, it's going to hurt him long term. And one day he comes up to me. He goes, Dad, why do you, do you not do royalty deals? Mm. I'm like, you know about royalties? He goes, yeah, Kevin does them on Shark Tank and you don't. Why? And I'm like, because they use up a company's gross margin. I'm like, do you know what gross margin is? He goes, yeah, I know what gross margin is. And he's like 10 at the time. <laughs> I, I know what gross margin is. It's the difference between what you um, sell it for and what you buy it for. What's left over is your gross margin. I'm like, how do you know this? He goes, TikTok and YouTube. Yeah. That's how he learns. And so the challenge isn't. To get that, the right stuff on. Right. It's the challenge. Yeah. Getting them to look at the right stuff. But they consume a lot of information, TED Talks or whatever, that are really informational. So the challenge wasn't so much, are they learning, right? They are. The challenge was me understanding how they learn. And that was the hard part for me. I think the challenge is also, I mean, even if you can get them to look at something like, say, from history, because kids don't know history and no. that's hard, it's a disaster. But, okay, so that's another topic, right? So <laughs> you got me rolling, you know, give me a couple of cocktails and watch out. Um, bam! So I have a conversation with my daughters because um, if I I only got two, but if I mention which one, she'd get really pissed. And <laughs> <laughs> there was a thing that came up on TikTok that I showed her. It was one of these things where they go up to random people and they say, you know, what year oh, was the War of eighteen twelve fought? Yeah, I played them on my show. Yes, exactly. They're just you would think just dumber than a box of rocks. Right? I can't even. But not just can't. I can't even. But. But. When you carry around a phone twenty four seven. Yes. And you can search for anything. You're an idiot. You're not though. Well, you could be smart, but that those. But no, TikTok the question is, the question is, what are you smart about? Okay, but those men on the streets proved this is what people. I mean, I've shown them. Uh, some of the, so the tell first, me, tell first me. question was, um, who was the first man to walk on the sun? <laughs> wait, wait for it. Answer, because she did answer it. Lance Armstrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it's just like no, there's so the many sun. of these and yeah. what, like um what city is f france in you know the, the, the just no, these... I was like, how many states are there how oh, many states? beyond way beyond that but, of stupidity. but okay so maybe i'm overly optimistic right but the shit that is easy to find with just one line in a search engine i can see not putting any brain cycles to that if you're using your brain for something else, right? If you are learning other things, because you can't, I never took chemistry in high school. So if someone asked me about the periodic table, I don't fucking know. I took it and I've forgotten it. So we're even. Yeah. So to somebody who's a chemistry teacher, if you said, you know, what are, what's the symbol for, you know, water, H2O, right? You would think everybody knows, but if you can't see aluminum and all the other things, your chemistry th right. teacher thinks you're a moron. Right. Right. Gold so, is AU. The one you're interested in. Yeah, right? If Bitcoin is BTC. Um, but you Bitcoin my... is not on the periodic <laughs> table. It's not on the periodic table. It's on an element. 
Bitcoin? You think it's an element? I'm just fucking with you. Oh, good. Oh, thank I was just going to say, <laughs> like, how much money can I get from this billionaire right now if I make him a bet? <laughs> this fucking idiot thinks that Bitcoin is in the periodic table. Oh, my God. Damn. I would have my pants literally. I had, <laughs> I had all the visions of gold, gold. Oh, see? <laughs> it's so much fun to fuck with you because it's not hard. <laughs> <laughs> you got to come back to Club Random. Oh, please have this, me back, man. I, this is a I blast. Knew, I knew I would like to. <laughs> oh, this is so much I never fun. have anybody here I don't like. Oh, because, man. like, this is not my job. Again, my job, which I'm going to have to go back to shortly, is writing real time with Bill Maher every yeah. week. And it takes all my time and my effort. It's hard. That's Those a hard show. Those are my show. kids. Yeah, that's a hard Those, show to do. It is a hard show to do. And it's a once a week show on a premium channel. I got It's like a football game versus basketball or baseball, which they play every night or every day. Football's once a week. I'm once a week. I got to make it perfect, or as perfect as I can. Yeah. So, like, when I asked them, HBO, if I could do this podcast, I first said, look, I will not take one minute away from what I really do, because tonight I'd be getting high anyway, <laughs> taking a because break. Because why not? I just would rather do it with you. No, I really appreciate you, know, you having me. This is yeah. a blast, man. This oh, is just good. two dudes just fucking no, around talking there's too shit. Little, there's too little in the world of just sort of like, can we drop what we have to pretend? And talk about henchmen. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But you know what I mean? Like, yeah. everyone has to pretend so much or else you get shit. Like... I'm sure you've gotten into trouble. I remember oh, yeah. it, but I don't even remember the yeah. instances, and I don't care. Always and always and always, because if you open yourself I, up to say, and it's just like, like, I'm a basic liberal, but they piss me off so much when they just cop this attitude, and it's like, just don't gaslight me. You know, I've always been an ally. Don't don't pretend. Don't say things like, you know, racism has never been worse. Plainly, that's not, not true. true. Yeah, but yeah. I, we all have to pretend things like that. Or Everybody's all, got a virtue signal to, to right. define their brand. Exactly, exactly. And that's what fucks me up. And I don't, I've never been a guy who could play along with bullshit, and you should, whether from the left or the right. I'm the same way, right? Yes. I'm independent, right? I think for myself. Fuck you if you think I'm supposed to say this or supposed to think that or supposed to be on your side. So if you had to run for office, what party would you run on? I'd run Republican. You would? Yeah, because I can, I can fuck with them more and... Just, well, they're also, I think they're more pragmatic. You know what also I was bringing but this up? But I think up, Democrats are smarter. I was bringing this up on my show Friday. The Democrats are very boxed in to identity politics. Well, so Republicans, though. Wait, 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 wait. But my point being, Democrats being so boxed in by identity politics, there's only two slots on the ticket. It can never be for the Democrats two white men. No, that's true. So you are you as a white man but are Republicans already do the same shit. They're talking about Kerry Lake and Trump, right? They do. They play the right. same. No, game. of course. But I'm saying, like, you can easily imagine the 2024 Republican ticket being two white men, and I bet you it will be. You cannot imagine the Democratic ticket being two no, white men. No, there's no chance. No, I'm not saying that. Uh, no, but I get your point. I'm, I'm right? for. I'm all for diversity. What do you think about ranked choice it's voting? It's just when we put it up against merit. There's a we're, we're having battles that sometimes are but but this is we're in a, a duopoly there is no there's no world of republican and, and re republican and democrats where they come up, up with the best candidates there's just no world where that exists that's why i'm all because of that crawling over glass to get there what, just right. because you know it's the power structure it's about power structure no. first if we could just get a like program a computer to, to, and put in all the data and figure out who are the two smartest guys to run the country. So what do you think about ranked choice we voting? We would come out of the computer. It would be like yeah, Bill Mark, Mark Cuban and Bill Maher. <laughs> yeah, Bill and Mark. Dead yeah. even. And then we have yeah. to flip a coin to say which one was president. Bill and, and Mark's <laughs> excellent adventure, right? right? Oh, oh, we just like direct the movie together like the Coen brothers did. We'd right? be co-presidents. Okay. But I got to uh, ask you before but we, you keep, But that's not our system. Before you kick us out, speaking of systems, ranked choice voting, what do you think? I'm really curious what you think. I think it's good, I think. But I like, am I a big expert on ranked choice voting? No, I love it. I love it. Yes, because it eliminates the extremisms, right? Yes. That's, and, and that's and what it we, takes the money out. That too. is our number one, number one job one thing. 
eliminate the extremism. In primaries particularly. Ex yeah. Primaries particularly, that the extremists are controlling both sides. Yes. And it's just a big- like, Fucks up everything. Fucks up everything. So if you look at like right. Maine and Alaska, where they have ranked choice voting for Senate, mm -hmm. those are the two who voted against Trump. Those are two who well, actually. Well, everybody voted against Trump. Trump well, you know, we know any... what I'm saying if for impeachment and everything else, right? Oh, oh right. right. Lisa because, Murkowski in yeah. Alaska, right. And so um, Collins and Maine, right? And I think that's it. Right, it, you're right. Because they're ranked choice voting. Right. They don't have to, you know. Right, you don't have to cater to the crazies. No. That right. is the difference. And so I've been a big advocate of ranking. You must get what I get a lot. People coming up to you and saying, you know, we want this common sense that you seem to, uh, you know, like yeah. that we just, we bring back common sense and uh, like. Uh, as well, long as we agree with them, it's common sense, well, right? Well, I mean, you know, we're left leaning. At least I feel like I am. Yeah, I mean, I'm a business guy through and through. But right. at the same time, I'm a, I'm a numbers guy. I'm a, you know, I look at the effect, I'm pragmatic, right? And so I'm not against something just because I'm supposed, I'm not dogmatic about anything. But I mean, I'm left, like you don't question how great it is that we have gay marriage. You think that's a great thing. Of course. Of co exactly, okay. Well, this is not what they would say on the Republican side. So? Now, I'm just saying it's, it always but bothers me. But if you're going me. to change things, you've got to go. In. I agree, no, no, yeah. no, I'm for, I'm, look, I don't, I, don't, I don't have a team. I don't yeah, have I don't, a team. I'm the same way, I don't have a team at and all. And it's rough because this is a team era when people just want to hear what but they believe. I think, okay, so I think Trump has been political chemotherapy, meaning he was such a mess, uh -huh. right, that he changed the system. Maybe. You know, so we had those. <laughs> you know what happens to people who get chemotherapy? Right, a lot of them die, right? And a lot of the system may change. <laughs> Other than that. Yeah, that <laughs> was the play. Um, <laughs> You're right. Um, yeah, Mrs. Lincoln. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, it's been 2016, let's say, to 2022, six years. In the big scheme of America, like my kids, when they're 60 years old, are going to look back and say, hopefully, say, look, we went through, the country went through this shit when I was a kid, but we learned from it. And I think we're starting to learn from what happened because well, this, you're seeing them throw them under the bus. This, it's starting. I mean, it's, you know, the poll was out today. He's still beating DeSantis for the nomination, 14 points among Republicans. Really? I didn't see that. Yeah. yeah. No, the, it, ap, the tide is absolutely turning. I mean, since the election, absolutely. Yeah. You see major pundits. You got housed. You, you see certain political people. We'll see. I mean, we've seen this. Rupert little, is throwing him Rupert under gave the a bus. Long, but he did that a while ago. No, he started to, right? But he was just right. overtly, he's starting to oh, overtly yes. do it now. I mean, you saw the New York Post headline today? Yeah. Florida yeah. man. Yeah. That, I must say, the g genius. Like, if people don't know, it's a big headline about something else, and then just on the bottom, in smaller letters, Florida man makes announcement. Florida man. That, just I, that destroyed is- Destroyed him. Just fucking genius. Destroyed it's him. fucking genius. So, all right. Well, I'm gonna release you back into the wild, Mark Cuban. I'm gonna go back to what I do for a real love my real living, but I'm so glad I got oh, to know man. you. All right, so this we'll do it again. Good. Yes. You'll mentor me. Yes, that's a deal. Club. Thanks. I'll give you a hug. Yeah, please. Oh, I really Grow it out. Me too. I really do. Club.